the scratch off. This is the day, this is the occasion. The final of the 2024 UEFA European Championship. A chance to write new history, a chance to achieve greatness with the football world eagerly watching. Complete coverage is next on EA TV. And so it comes down to this. Welcome to our coverage of the final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, sitting here on the commentary gantry. And with me to provide expert analysis, a complete tactical breakdown, is Stuart Robson. What a match this promises to be. It's Turkey up against Portugal. Well, Derek, I'm really excited by these two teams. There are some top-class players all over the pitch and some really good matchups. This could be a great final today. Let's hope so. Surely the opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So back underway, having conceded. Let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. Bernardo Silva it's with Joao Cancelo really good challenge Bruno Fernandes has it on the ball Rafael Leal wasteful from Portugal oh breezing past him And teammates around him. Bruno Fernandes. Leal. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And just lacking that little bit of guile. Portugal unable to retain possession. Check to got in the way well that would certainly have put them in a great position but with only a one goal lead they're never going to be able to relax real chance and still an opportunity and clears the danger Cristiano Ronaldo Leal Very quick thinking there. Fernandes. And a chance to level it. Oh, that's a fine save. Oh, the short corner routine. Babdacci. Really good wide play. Chance to play it in. And an astute piece of defending. Promising attack, this. A disappointing end to the move. Ferreira. On to Silva. A chance to whip it in. Oh, could be. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made for moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. So the ball is rolling again at one all. 
Arthur Collum. Vitor Ferreira. And Portugal moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Can I get a try? My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, he's certainly not alone. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And so it is. The first half story has been written. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Fernandes. Thwarting him. Well, nothing on toward happened. Chance maybe to use their counter-attacking ability to good effect. Running room in the wide position. Drawing his luck. Oh, there it is! There's the goal that gives them the lead. Just what they wanted. Well, here it is again. He goes past these markers so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Ronaldo. Rafael Leao. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Shot blocked, but still alive. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Surely the equaliser. Well, can Portugal take advantage of this set piece? Played over. And that was goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. It's absolutely remarkable. His reflexes were brilliant there. Short corner taken. Pepe. This could level it. It's still alive. And the keeper has it after that tension-laden sequence. Well, what a great first save that was. How did he stop that? Cenk Tosu. Feeding it through, and he's made the run. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now, and just look at these fans! The trophy coming their way, surely! Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Pereira. Now with Silva. The cross is on. Could reduce the deficit. And he does. There was hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And this is Ronaldo at his best. He's composed, he shows great technique, and he just smashes it beyond the keeper. And they get the ball running again. The tails are up as far as Portugal are concerned. 
Very quick thinking there. Palinha. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Ferreira. Seal. They could really get at the opposition. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Well, I imagine there were many who had counted them out. This has been quite the fight back. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Ruben Dias. It's with Joao Cancelo. Fernandes. A gift for any goalkeeper. Ten minutes to go then. Take it away. Well, no point in stopping play. Advantage with them. Five minutes of the 90 still to go and the teams cannot be separated and still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture and the teams are level and every corner counts at this juncture now referring to the earlier infringement the referee sees it as a bookable offence And played short. Really favours this position. Well, it didn't go to plan in the end. Now well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. And a substitution in the offing. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. Kukchu. Can they nudge in front late on here? Well, disappointing end to the move. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level, and extra time is coming up. Supporters think it's on. Oh, there's the goal! There's the opener! How about that? Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. He has teammates around him. And there's the feed into the box.
Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. And there goes the final whistle. Say hello to the Euro 2024 winners on this dramatic night here in Berlin. The joy, the ecstasy, also the disappointment, but ultimately the feeling of togetherness. Well, I have to say, they've been brilliant throughout the tournament. They were great today as well. They are the deserved champions, no doubt about that. And these are very special scenes that we're witnessing. And there is no moment more special for a footballer than this. The trophy about to be presented. They're all on tenterhooks. They know what's coming next. The European champions. Well, it's been a tough tournament, but they've been absolutely excellent. doesn't get any better than this does it a chance now to celebrate with their own fans and the fans have also played their part just listen to the noise here great end to this tournament